So, we are back and we've made quite a lot of progress. For a start, our work orders list is slowly going down. We have a new builder in who's taken over the job for Isaac there. We have Jordan now and she is currently working on another citizen house which will nearly be done. And hopefully I have mob proofed our little underground farms now so they shouldn't spawn in here anymore and kill our precious precious citizens. And finally we have unlocked the research that will allow us to make the mechanic build. So we're going to do that today. And we've also started some more research on some new buildings like a crusher and eventually an archery and a combat academy as well. But to begin with we're going to make this mechanic which only requires one block of redstone. Even better there's citizen four done so we'll get even more citizens in to help us with these new builds as well. And here is our mechanic build. Now, where to place this? For once, this isn't an absolute stupidly big building, so I think we're just going to put it right here in the kind of middle of our town. And just looking through the list of items required for this, there's a couple of things here which are interesting. Compass and a clock, but I've actually got a name from Pirate Raids. So we'll go with the build order there and we'll see who can eventually make that sort of stuff for us there. Julia, is there anything I can help you with? Or are you just following me to annoy me? Yep. Jordan is away doing Citizen 1, which is another new Citizen tier building I'm going to put just round the corner, right at the back there. Actually, we can't see it at all because of how big these new tier 4 Citizen houses are. And that's nice, there is two huge hordes of raiders coming. And Benjamin is currently working on the school for us, which I finally put down, and that's actually just right down to the back here. So this is where the school's going to eventually be, just beside the library. Right, I suppose me and all our guards people and rangers and knights and everyone else better get prepared for the slaughter that's about to happen. I see them. Oh damn they. And actually quite a lot of them. Right, okay, this could go really, really badly. We do have quite a few knights and guards and such, so I am hoping they're going to help me here before I get killed. Oh well, there's our first death, poor lumberjack. This wouldn't be a normal start to an episode without death, would it? Oh, there's the beekeeper gone as well. Why are these people not in bed? Right, come on Elizabeth, let's get the rest of them. These two here are actually doing not too bad. Whoa, someone just shot himself on fire. Awesome, well done you. This guy is really stupid tough actually. Well, not anymore, now he's dead. Well done Benedict. Holy crap, you send people on fire, I love it. I would like to say this is the I first time I've had a big double raid enough, eh? like this, but it's not. This seems to become like a new thing where I get double the amount of raids in now. I'm guessing our colony is just up to that kind of level here. Uh, so we have had a few raids as I've been doing things in the offline here, which is not great. And we have had more deaths than we do at the moment, thanks to people like this. Right, that may have been the last chieftain down. I don't know how many more there are. There was only two big hordes there this time. And I think that might be it. So I've moved the dyer and the mechanic builds here to the top of the work orders list. And hopefully once they're done doing the citizen hut here and the school, they'll go and do those immediately. Well, and again. also after we've just mourned all the hundreds of deaths we've just had there. This thing following me around is really starting to wind me up. I really don't understand why it's following me around, nor do I want it doing so. Here, take this. Yeah! So this is Jordan here. This is our new builder, and she is building tier 1 citizen hut here at the moment, which will give us some more space for some more citizens. She's actually not a bad worker level already. I just get the feeling that these people are now getting the benefits of already established citizen and of their being bred in here. So they're getting some slightly not higher skills enough, than eh? they would normally get them starting off with here, so... And this is why she's doing not too bad a job here, and doing it pretty quick. And Benjamin seems to be getting on pretty fine here with the school, finally getting some flooring down. There is the mystery of improved bows, which not I believe is enough, our eh? archery build now. It. Yes it is, so we will look into putting up an archery as well to help defend our colony. But in the meantime, I'm going to go for this hardened research to give us some better durable tools. A bit expensive being 16 of those diamonds, but we'll go with it. Hello penguin. And there's our school completed there. And there's the other citizen hut now completed as well. Perfect. So Benjamin has picked up the dyer job, and as you would imagine there's quite a lot of dyes required to be put into this, but 
looking at the shopping list here, we should be able to have it all made for us. I will supply him whatever else he requires, but I'm quite happy to let them go with that. By the looks of it, Jordan has started on our mechanic build here as well, of which this is needing some more trickier items like the clock and the compass, but I'm pretty sure we have them from a pirate raid, so I will double check again, but we're looking grand. There's another kid as well, thanks to that new house. Probably this. Let's actually go check on this school. We've actually already got some people inside us here. There's a kid sitting down, and we've got Emmeline here. Okay then. Right, I'm guessing this is where all you chaps are then going to come to and stay out of my way, which will be nice. You are needing some paper. So that's what this building is going to take is some paper. And I think it puts your guys' skills up a little bit so you're not just as useless here. That's fine, they can give you paper then. Uh, I'll come back and upgrade this building at some point. This is ridiculous, chap. Look how high up you are. I can't even see your name, you're up that high. Why is he up so goddamn high? Oh, I really hope you fall off. Uh, I really hope you fall off. Right, I've seen from our open requests that Jordan is asking for some bone meal. I believe that's for her to make the white dye that she's going to require there. So I can quickly give her that. Although, I'm not sure if I could teach her just to take the bone and turn into bone meal herself. I might do that instead. Although once we do get this dyer up, they're going to take care of all this dye things for us. Uh, I'm still going to teach you how to make your own dye here because you do have a 2x2 crafting table, but that really should be all down to the dyer here. Right, here. Take a bone and you use that and that's how you make some bone meal. Okay, so is this now off my list? Yes, that's now off my list. Right, so I'll actually just throw those at you and you can make that yourself. Right, good. What else do you require here or are we good? To just wait on everything coming in. Yes, looking at this, there's the clock from the warehouse. Everything should just come in a nice orderly fashion here. That is excellent, Jordan. Well done. And Benjamin is not in his hut, so I'm oh, assuming that he is again? good. Going away and doing that. God damn, chaps. That was two of you shouting in my ear there. That was nice. Him being on the roof there is bad. That child on top of the enchanter's roof. That is even worse. I don't know how the hell they're getting up there. <laughs> this is this is terrible, guys. This follow me is also terrible, but that child on the roof there. That, that is that is gonna end in tears. From me laughing so much when they fall off and break their neck. Hey Benjamin, how are we getting on here? I put this in a rather strange area for you. Uh, you're gonna need to do a lot of digging out here, I'm afraid, son. And I'm not quite sure how we're going to handle this water, but really that's a you problem more than a me problem here. Now yeah, you're going fine, son. For millions of animals. I swear maybe we should just turn our calling into a zoo now, the way we're going here. Right, Jordan, give me just a second, please. I need to go sort something. Right, sorry, Jordan. What were we needing? That's everything Jordan needs here to complete a mechanic, so hopefully she will get on with it. Yes, she did, and here it is then. And now that we've got this mechanic up and working, it means we can try establish some of these more complex builds that do require redstone. So I'm going to come into some of these buildings and start upgrading them to tier 4 now that we can possibly make these things without me having to do so. Yes, because it's things like dispensers and possibly grindstones that I think we need a mechanic to make. So we'll upgrade this and whenever the time comes we'll see if that is the case and someone in the mechanic can do it for us. Benjamin will still be working on clearing out that area for the dyer there. I'm quite happy just to let him continue that. I will go around and upgrade all of these buildings now to at least tier 4 here. And I know this has added a hundred odd more jobs to our work orders here that we were trying to go down but I would really like everything up to close to tier 4 before we even consider doing tier 5. That and I really don't want to go anywhere near the end at the moment. But I think once we've got this mechanic up and running, the dyer up and running, and finally this stone smelter up and running, there's not too many other buildings that I can think that we'll need to put down to help us automate things around here. I think we'll be in a position where we've pretty much got everything in the village fully automated and I don't need to do a damn thing by this point. 
Then we can worry about tier 5. I'm also aware that I've been putting a lot of time and effort into actually just getting these buildings up so that we can automate things around the village here and I've spent very little time actually decorating the village so that might be something else I'll consider doing too. Maybe not too much of it but I will definitely put down some more decoration. I'm still very interested in the rails as well and I know that paths do allow our delivery people to work a little bit better because of waypoints but for now I'm very happy with the village just been able to take care of itself. I wish I could take care of the raids, but sadly that's still something we're working on, which reminds me I need to put down the archery, but maybe eventually we'll put down some nice decoration here as well, so it's not just as plain looking. Whilst I wait on these bows coming over so I can make this archery, let's just check how we're getting on here. And this is pretty much what I'm saying, already we've got pretty much all the resources required to do the school there. Just waiting on the lumberjack getting us enough spruce to make the planks and then Jordan will be done it. Benjamin still taking his time here but again the vast majority of items here we will already have. In fact yep there you can see we've already got a lot of it there done for us. So really we are in a real good position at the moment I feel where everything has been taken care of for us here and it's now just trying to find those little small items left that do require me to make them and see if there is anyone who can make it for us. Even as I look down the list of the buildings that we've got here for our mine colonies, there's a couple that I still need to put down, like this swineherder's hut and this crusher which we will need to get from research, which actually is happening just now. But there's very very little of these buildings left I need to put down and the vast majority of what I have put down already are helping us there. So yeah, I might just actually see what type of huts are left, like the swineherder's one and this combat academy once it's researched as well and put them down just for the sake of having it. Okay Benjamin, how are we getting on here? Well we've established this so far which is nice. There's Jordan away to do Beekeeper 4. I just seen that she had completed our school tier 2 just past the library there. I'll go check out. This is looking okay actually. Good, this will be up running any second. I'm going to go find a home for this archery build. Which I am thinking just right beside our barracks here. So this is tier 5. Tier 1, let's go with it. And the archery, just like the combat academy, whenever I finally get the research for it done, basically just takes some of the ranger NPCs that we have and trains them just to be better at their job in that sense. So we should get some better, stronger rangers to help us defend our colony here. This is looking pretty much the same, except we've got some more carpet there. That's nice. And what's even nicer, there's the dyer complete. Let's go check that out. So this should now take care of all of our dye needs, I believe. It would be nice if we could have an NPC immediately in here. And this is going to require some fuel, so I've just been giving them spruce wood, soon as we've got loads of that at the moment, or spruce planks, sorry. I suppose the fuel will be for things like our cacti to make uh, into green dye by burning it in the furnace there. But that's okay, we'll get someone in here eventually and help us make some dyes. And there's Benjamin away to do glass blower too. So I've not actually checked what we need here for Jordan's build, for beekeeper 4. We're needing 4 beehives. I'm still not sure if I've taught anyone how to make those, I'll need to double check. Everything else may be okay, apart from some of these yellow items down the bottom here. But now that we've got the dyer up, maybe they can help us make some of these things like yellow carpet. And with the glass blower as well, they can help us make the yellow stained glass. I'll double check on that and just make sure they will do all that for us, but we're looking good. Man, I'm, I'm loving all these NPCs on the roof. Loving it. This glass blower was one of the buildings that required one of these redstone items, this daylight detector. So, hopefully we do have someone inside our mechanic and we can see if they can make info like that for us there. Sadly we still don't have any worker in our mechanic here, but I'm still going to see if I can teach them how to make any of these things. We'll start off with one of these daylight sensors then and see if they can make that for us, which would be grand. Which of course they can't. Who could make that for us? Well, there's a redstone lamp. I wonder if they could do that for us. Which just requires a glowstone and some redstone dust. Okay, that's pretty simple to go get. In fact, this could be even quicker. Give me that. I'll give you back in a second. Right, please tell me you can learn this redstone there. Okay, so they can at least learn that. That'll take that off my list. I'm really unsure who's going to be able to make this for us then. 
Because we've got some slabs down the bottom, it might be the sawmill operator. But at the same token, we also have glass at the top, so it could even be the glass blower. Not quite sure who would do the nether quartz things for us there. Maybe the blacksmith? There's three buildings I can go try at least. Well, it's not the blacksmith. I'll put this back here quickly before I forget. Well, I did try put it back and it disappeared, so, well, th th don't blame me, I tried. It's not the sawmill operator either. It was the glass blower. Okay, well, that's fine. We've got it then, so that'll be our daylight sensors taken care of. From what I can see, everything else here looks pretty easy for them to get. So let's just double check my requests. Oh, okay, right, there's a lot of requests here. Uh, damn. Okay, let's start from the top. So we're still needing grass, which I was pretty sure would have been the florist. I know they can do tall grass, but they just can't do normal grass. Although I'm not sure if we've upgraded their building yet. Maybe they can do more now. I'm going to go double check, but that one might always just be on me, sadly. Seeing as they are useless. This is only a tier 3 building actually, so maybe at tier 4 they might possibly be able to do it. Because I certainly don't see anything in this list that would allow them to make that for us. Of all the things, surely you could make us some grass, yeah, useless. What about these stone brick walls? Surely the stonesmith knows how to make them, or maybe I've just not taught them the recipe yet. I'm just going to quickly borrow some of these. I will put them back, don't you worry. Unless he steals one of them. I'll need another one then. I told a lie, I'm not even going to replace that because I actually need to make those. Well, they can put it there whenever they upgrade this. Right, that's stone walls. Okay, good. That's done. Hopefully this is off the list. Yes, it is. Perfect. So pots are next, which I know do require the stone smelter to actually smelt the clay and then give it to the stone mason to make that. So that's going to need to be me for now. So the last thing is really just all these different types of glass. Yellow stained glass and white stained glass, which will definitely be our glass blower. So I'm going to need to find some dyes to teach them how to do that. So that's how to make the yellow stained glass. Nope. Or not. Wow, the glass blower doesn't know how to actually make glass tinted items. And I'm going to assume it's the dyer then. Of, of all the buildings. Yes, okay, the dyer does. So the dyer's going to need to take the glass from the glass blower to dye it here. And the last thing on the list was these yellow stained pane glasses, actually. Wonder if that's going to be in here. No. Let me guess. That'll need to be back at the glass blower then. Yep. And there's everything there actually in our request system. So they'll do that for us now if we had some workers in there. I'm going to need to get some grass in some of these flower pots then, and we are on to a winner here. And I think this is where I'll leave you guys. We have actually done not too bad today. Not too bad at all. Next time, we'll just continue on getting some more buildings up to tier 4 here.